Hi again and welcome to Adventure with us with Sam's and Tans. Today we're going to go to a very exciting place. It's a touristy place. Um so we're going to go to Westminster from Tower Gateway. And so I just want to remind you guys please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and video. I hope you enjoy this. So I'm just going to show you around all the touristy places in London. As we can see there's a tour bus passing by. We've got the Tower of London and we've got the Shard right in front of us. It's so amazing that when you come to this place, when you go up at Tower Gateway station near the Tower Bridge area, you can see Tower Bridge on one side and then you can see the Tower of London right next to it and the Shard as well. Um so me and my sister Tans and my mom we're just walking towards the boat pier so we're going to uh, go on the tourist boat today so it's very exciting and it's it's a cruise experience via river Thames and now we're just walking along along the side of Tower of London so now we're just going to enter the Tower Gate pier and we're going to book our tickets it seems like there's a very long queue it's a, it's quite warm today so i think everyone decided just to um come here for a visit a lot of tourists as well normally visit london during this time of the year it does look cloudy i hope it doesn't rain So we're just admiring all the views around us while we're waiting to buy our tickets. This is called the City Cruises Sightseeing Experience. We've got the Tower Bridge here. And here's just some information about the River Thames. Doesn't the view look gorgeous? Now we're just entering the part where we have to queue up to get on the boat. So it's going to be a quite a long way. I think about 20 to 30 minutes before the boat comes. We're so excited to get on it and we just hope that we find space to sit on the top. We can see from here the queue looks crazy. There's so many people in front of us. It's kind of confusing because there are many boarding points and we're just trying to figure out where we should where we need to stand to get on the boat. To Westminster. Now we've just entered the boat and we're trying to, you know, run fast and just, you know, grab the best seats. And now you can enjoy the commentators' comments, okay? So please keep watching, you'll enjoy the tour. We carry life rings, life rafts, life jackets all located around various points of the vessel. In the highly unlikely events of an emergency, I will tell you how to proceed over this public address system. If this has alarmed anyone, downstairs is the bar. Go and use it. Get some alcohol and relax. There's also toilets downstairs. There's a few buckets. It's very boring, all right? It's very automated. It's not It's not the greatest, all right? Now, the alternative, or should I say the solution, and this part, this is not included within your ticket price, but what I will do, I will stay on this microphone, I'll make your trip a bit better, and I'll do a live commentary for you guys. Would you like a live commentary? Yeah. Yeah? All right. I've got a stress. I'm not a guide, I'm just a member of the crew, I'm fluent in Fredo, 
we'll start on the left, to the left hand side. The area to the left, this is known as London Bridge City. It's a self-contained city within the city of London itself. A lot of the land here, it is owned by the Royal Kuwaiti family. They've even got their own hospital, the London Bridge Hospital. That hospital to the left, that is world famous heart attacks. You go in there with a sprained ankle, you get the bill, then you drop down dead with a heart attack, okay? It's also more expensive for a riverside view. On the right, there's a blue building with windows. The architects of that was actually two out of work Italian window cleaners by the name of Luigi the Squeegee and Sammy the Shammy. <laughs> it wasn't really. It's home to a Channel 5 and a health lottery. Um, if you stay looking to the right hand side, uh, in, a, in the gap in the buildings to the right, we're going to see Sir Christopher Wren's monument to the Great Fire of London. A wax candle stands 202 feet tall. Lay that down in the direction behind us. That would reach a little baker's shop in Pudding Lane where the Great Fire of London is said to have started. Now, this bridge, London Bridge, this is it. If you don't believe me, look either side and they wrote the name on it. Look, London Bridge. Been a London Bridge on this site since the Roman era. This is the fifth London Bridge to span the river at this point. The previous one, got sold to an American company for one million pounds. It now stands over Lake Havazu in America. Uh, but we just went through London Bridge. If you look in front of the boat, look at the next bridge, look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is the Cannon Street Railway Bridge. This is the, the greatest bridge on the River Thames. It's my personal favorite, uh, not, not because it's a bridge, it's because what's beneath the bridge okay so as we go through this bridge look beneath it to the right there are some windows the windows they belong to a luxury health and fitness spa as we go past this evening with any luck we will get to see some semi-naked people now there you, there you go look what, what, the, what the architects failed to consider was, is every five minutes there is a boat like this going past with someone like me pointing that out. Some days the views are better than others. Some days we will turn this boat around multiple times. Let's go and have another look. Some days, I wish I never pointed that out. Believe me when I say that. Now, if you look to the right, this is how we dispose of our household rubbish here in London. We compact all of our rubbish into the containers. The containers get loaded into the barge. A tug comes to pick this barge up, and then we ship all this rubbish off to a place called Essex. If anyone is familiar with Essex, that is where we get rid of all of our rubbish from London. And then they reward us with some of the worst television that you have ever seen in your life. I'm not even going to name that program, it's that awful. Uh, so this is the Southwark Road Bridge. You'll, you won't see many people up there. It's one of the most underused bridges here in London. Uh, but once we get through this bridge, to the right-hand side, over to the right, the white building with four columns. Vinters Place, home to the Vinters Company. In this building, they have one of the most undesirable jobs in all of the world, and that is testing some of the wines and spirits that go on sale in restaurants in this country. It's a very undesirable job. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who'd want to work there. Look to the left. 
to the left hand side the circular white building timber frames thatched roof the replica of shakespeare's globe and playhouse theatre the only building in london to have a thatched roof since the great fire so you can see all of shakespeare's best plays acted out in period dress throughout the summer months of the year it is an open air theatre so if it does rain you'll get wet so go and see a play in there to have that experience that will cost you about 10 pounds okay about a tenner Right, it's still brilliant value for money for live entertainment nowadays here in London. Now, the next bridge, so this next bridge, this is the Millennium Footbridge, more commonly known as the Wibbly Wobbly. On its opening ceremony, this bridge, it rocked and swayed so violently, people fell over and people were sick. To the right, you'll get a quick glimpse of St Paul's Cathedral. If you want a photo, get your cameras ready. You get about half a second. Get ready for St Paul's Cathedral. There it is, and it's gone again. All right, St Paul's Cathedral, that's all you get from the river. You can see the magnificent dome. So Christopher Wren's masterpiece, completed in 1710, took 35 years to be built the second largest unsupported cathedral dome in the world. Only second to St. Peter's in the Vatican City. Stands 365 foot tall. In front of the boat, the next bridge, this is the Blackfriars Railway Bridge. This is a railway station on top of the bridge. On the roof, all the slanted panels are solar panels. This bridge, it does generate a fair bit of its own electricity. Done for the cost of around 500 million pounds for the Olympics in 2012. It wasn't actually completed until 2013. Money well spent, okay? There are three bridges here, three bridges, nowhere on this river today, you always have your husband or your wife. Any single women, you are more than welcome to go and give the captain a quick kiss. No? Any single men? Any single men? You're also more than welcome to go and give the captain a quick kiss. He's a very open-minded, young-ish man. He gets very lonely in here driving the boat. You do, don't you? I know you do. To the right, the white building with the green roof, the black spinet in the centre, the old City of London School for Boys. Had a few famous people educated here over the years. Beneath the green roof, there are four different statues of men. From left to right, Williams, Turner, Bacon. The fourth one on the right, standing there with his Gucci jacket and football, that's David Beckham. Now, we all know David didn't go to school. Sorry, David. Uh, to the left, we have an orange building. This is the Oxo Tower. That's where they once made the famous little stock queue, better known as Mum's Gravy. It's not made there anymore. The first two floors of shops, there's some luxury, unaffordable housing in the middle. And at the top, there's a fantastic, very expensive restaurant by the name of Harvey Nichols. Now, if anyone is looking for something to do tonight, ladies and gents, on the left here, we have one of London's best kept secrets or the, one of the hidden gems of London, okay? Because coming up on the left, we have London's premier beach Riviera, okay? The South Bank Beach, the perfect place to go and top up your tan on a nice sunny day. The boundary point for that was Tower Bridge. This means we are now entering the city of Westminster. Also, coming up on the right, uh, on the river wall to the right hand side 
uh, we have some green lion's heads on the river wall to the right. The lion's heads, they are an old flood defence system. When the river level was approaching these lion's heads back in the days, they knew that London was at risk of flooding. And to remember that, they had a few rhymes which go like this. When the lions are drinking, London is sinking. When they're in London, because of that, over the years, this building, it has developed quite a bit of a curious little nickname. And we do refer to that as the Hatcham, Matcham and Dispatcham departments of London. Uh, the inland revenue operator. Uh, also on the right, the stone obelisk. Cleopatra's needle, it predates the city of London itself. It dates back over 3,000 years. Once stood in a place called Heliopolis in Egypt. It was given to us by a grateful Egyptian viceroy for English's victory over the French in the Battle of the Nile. Now, in front of the boat, the next bridge, this is the Charing Cross Railway Bridge. If you look on top of this bridge, ladies and gents, you can see a train that is going across it at the moment. As we go through this bridge, if you feel any water come down through the bridge, it just means that train has unloaded his toilets. I'm only joking. No, I'm joking, you'll be fine. I'll even stand outside with you, all right? You'll be fine, don't worry. Now, as we go through this bridge, we have a tradition on these boats. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna blow the ship's horn, give everyone on this bridge a nice big wave. Right, there's a reason why we do this, so get involved. Right, get your hands up, come on. Come on, get waving, come on. Come on, mate, come on. Come on, more enthusiasm, more enthusiasm. Hello, hello, hello. This, this is how we get people not to throw anything down at the boat. Right? Some, sometimes this works, it doesn't always, but uh, if people are waving, they forget they're meant to be throwing. Yeah, so never let me pitch, come get your hands back up, let's have another wave. Come on, stop, stop doing it, get away, come on. just incredibly miserable, but um, you, you look the advantage under that. Now, to the right, there's a large cluster which is in front of us. You can see Dartford Bridge, which is in the east behind us. Now, the London Eye, it is also registered for marriages. So you can get married on the London Eye. I wouldn't recommend it. Barry cannot see Big Ben. We can only hear it. Okay, Big Ben is only the name of the bell, the 13 and a half ton bell, which is inside of the tower. What we can see is the Elizabeth Tower. Right, in a moment, we'll make our first stop, Westminster Pier. All right, after that, London Eye, then back to the tower. All right, if you're leaving at Westminster, please stay where you are, take your kids with you. Do not leave your kids behind to spoil my night okay i am not babysitting no one's kids take your kids with you please up until about three o'clock we had a few kids left over from yesterday